Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display posts on specific pages. And normally, what you do is you display posts on a blog page, and that would be your blog. However, there are cases where you want to display categories as pages. So you want to have a separate page for each of your categories. And I'll show you how to do that right now. First, I'll show you how to do the blog, then I'll show you how to do the categories. So in our top menu here, we have an entry called blog, which you may have as well. And when we go to that blog page, we have our blog posts all listed from every category. All these ones are on my demo ones and I left them all as uncategorized, but you can see all of them. And if you click on load more posts, it'll load more and I'll show you all of the blog posts on the site. And where we set that, to, to make them appear on that blog page. In the WordPress dashboard, if you scroll down and hover over settings and then click on reading, at the very top we have the front page displays options and to have your blog posts appear on the blog page, you wanna check the radio box that says a static page and then for the posts page, you wanna choose that blog page and that will ensure that all your blog posts appear on that blog page. And now if that blog page is not yet on your menu system, you would go to appearance, hover over menus, you would find that blog page either listed here under most recent, or you'd click on search and quickly search for that blog page. I'll just show you real quick. I'll remove that blog and I'll search for it over here. And then I will click the checkbox, click the add to menu button. And then I'm gonna click and drag it up to after about us and click on save menu and now after doing that that blog page then appears in the main menu but if you want to have your category listings appear in that main menu you'd scroll down and on the left hand side you will see an entry called categories you probably won't have this many entries or this many link options unless you have the Aveda theme installed as well these are most of these are from Aveda but categories is on every WordPress installation and then you can pick which categories you want to have appear in that menu system. So I'm going to choose news and warm countries. Click on add to menu. By default, they'll be added at the very end. I'm just going to leave them there and click on save menu. And now it's saved. And if we go back to our WordPress site, the main page, we will see that in the menu system, we now have those two new entries, news and warm countries. And these are actually categories from our blog. So if we click on the news link item, it will then show, as a blog page would, it shows all the results from the news category. And these are all posts that are created as part of the blog. And if we click on the warm countries option, yours will probably be named a little differently, but you get the idea. This is the warm countries category, and it will show all the posts that are in the warm countries category. Whereas in that blog page we clicked on at the start of this video, that will show all of the posts in chronological order, including news, warm countries, and whatever else is on this demo site will show up in chronological order on that blog page. And these category pages allow you to break it out a little bit more, make it cleaner, and that might be exactly what you're looking for on your website. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to your YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos like this all the time, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.